Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this discussion, we are going to have some MCQs and their answers about chromosomes and DNA. Question number one. The Misselson and Stahl experiment used a density label to be able to. We know Misselson and Stahl, they used density labeling of DNA for determining difference between the density of uh, different kinds of DNA. So to distinguish between newly replicated and older strands in their experiment, instead of labeling proteins or determining the direction, or you can say distinguishing between the replicated DNA and RNA primers, they made use of that label to distinguish between newly replicated and old strands of the DNA. Question number two, Hessian and Chase experiment, they used a radioactive phosphorus and sulfur. They used radioactive phosphorus to label the DNA and sulfur to label the proteins. So beta is the right answer. As you know, the T4 phages, they were labeled so that it may be identified that which of the following material is responsible for heredity. And DNA was found to be within the cells that it is hereditary material and it causes transfer of information from one generation to the next. In Misselson and Stahl experiment in F1 generation, DNA was hybrid. As you can see the diagram, the heavy DNA, it was allowed to grow in the lighter medium containing N14 nitrogen. The F1 generation was having a mixture of N14 and N15, that is hybrid DNA. The one gene and one polypeptide theory states that one gene, one polypeptide states that uh, an individual gene or one gene is responsible for the production of a specific or one polypeptide chain. It correctly describes the nucleosome. A nucleosome consists of 200 nucleotides and an octomer of proteins or eight histone proteins, as you can see in the diagram as well. How many types of DNA polymerases are found in prokaryotes? There are three types of DNA polymerases performing different functions. The two DNA replicating enzyme in bacteria is DNA polymerase 3, which is a major replicating enzyme as well. What is the relationship among DNA, a gene, and a chromosome? As you can see, uh, a chromosome contains hundreds of genes and which are composed of DNA. If one strand of DNA is given the sequence from five prime to three prime, the other strand will have a sequence in three prime to five prime complementarity. Like uh, you can find out three prime over here, it should be complementary to the adenine, thiamine, cytosine, and guanine. So we could find thiamine. Adenine, thiamine adenine is, must be there at three prime end. So Charlie seems the best option out of given sequences. Rather than looking for the whole sequence, we can find out the complementary end with complementary few initial nucleotides. Pick up the choice that is incorrect about RNA primer. It is constructed by RNA primers, yes. And it's a sequence of about 10 RNA nucleotides. It's complementary to parent DNA, but it is not constructed by RNA polymerase. So delta is the wrong statement over here. As you can see, the RNA, poly, uh, RNA primase constructs a primer during DNA replication. Number 11. Because the two parental strands of a DNA are anti-parallel, the new strands are oriented in opposite direction. So delta. The difference in leading versus lagging strand synthesis is the consequence of both the physical structure of DNA and the action of polymerase enzyme, which is responsible for their different kind of synthesis. Sickle cell hemoglobin occurs due to the immediate mm -hmm. replacement of glutamic acid bivalent beta. And number 14, if the activity of DNA ligase was removed from the replication, this would have a greater effect on the lagging strand because lagging strand requires 
fusion of Okazaki fragments as compared to leading strain. So synthesis on the lagging strain will be more effective versus the synthesis on the leading strain. So alpha, a base substitution, mutation in a gene sometimes has no effect on the protein the gene codes for. Which of the following factor could account for this? Because some amino acids, they have more than one codons and such mutations, they are now in a silent mutations, which actually uh, are not responsible for the change in amino acid, but they change the sequence of nucleotides with one or few nucleotides. So beta is the right option over here. Beta is the answer. Question number 16. Okay, have a look over there uh, for silent mutations. For example, lysine DNA sequences th triple thiamine, but uh, if it is replaced by, uh, sorry, thiamine, thiamine, and cytosine, if it is replaced by triple thiamine, that could result in triple adenine on RNA and it encodes for lysine as well. So it's a silent mutation which will not cause a change in the amino acids. Number 16, if the genetic code is made up of three nucleotides, the total possible genetic codes will be 64, because there are four types of nucleotides in four part three, you can take uh, 64. The synthesis of telomeres, it requires telomeres enzyme, which uses an internal RNA as a template for the synthesis of telomere portion of the DNA. As you can see, telomeres, it synthesizes telomere ends and it uses RNA template to synthesize the complementary strand. Number 18, what is the central dogma of molecular biology? It's uh, formation of RNA from DNA and then formation of proteins from RNA. So Charlie, Eukaryotic transcription differs from prokaryotics in that eukaryotes, they have three RNA polymerases. Instead, prokaryotes, they have only one. RNA polymerase bind to a dash to initiate. RNA polymerase, it binds to the promoter region to initiate transcription. So, beta. During translation, the codon and messenger RNA is actually read by transfer RNA. Anticodon, because it binds with the complementary sequence on messenger RNA. Number 22, the strand of DNA which is transcribed is template strand. The other strand is known as coding or sense strand. RNA is synthesized on template strand and that strand is also being transcribed, so alpha. How many types of nuclear codons actually specify amino acids? There are 61 codons nuclear codons, which actually specify amino acid. The other three codons, they are stop codons. Number 24, transfer of genes from one organism to other mm -hmm. and its successful transcription and translation in new host is possible because, because genetic language is universal and uh, there, are, there is similar genetic code almost in all organisms with exceptions in mitochondria codons. Which of the following functions as a stop signal for prokaryotic RNA polymerase? A sequence of origin of messenger RNA or origin of, uh, sorry, a sequence of uh, nucleotides that form a hairpin due to a specific sequence of nucleotides such as a series of GC base pairs on coding strand of the DNA followed by AT base pair and then four or more uracil, so delta. And GC hairpin is formed due to RNA being formed in this region. Number 26. During translation, the ribosome must move along the messenger RNA. This movement, it requires energy. And beta is the right option. It also uh, involves uh, some of the helping RSSA factors as well. In comparing transcription in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the messenger RNA. Messenger RNA 
differ in that prokaryotic messenger RNA often encode more than one protein and eukaryotic messenger RNA they are mono systemic like they form only one protein from one messenger RNA. How many amino acids are encoded by a single codon? A single codon is the codon for tryptophan, UGG or methionine. All of the amino acids they are having more than one codon in the genetic code table. Nonsense codons, they are not recognized by any transfer RNA and a transfer RNA can bind to them. These codons are only identified by release factor and they cause termination of the translation process and release of all the factors which are involved in the translation. In translation, methionine is released from its transfer RNA and is attached inside by a peptide bond to the second amino acid. This is catalyzed by large ribosomal subunit is responsible, responsible for the release of methionine and its attachment to the second amino acid for the peptide bond formation. So delta. Thank you. That was all about chromosomes and DNA.